Good job. There you go. All right. They're recording. All right. So it's a hot, sunny day. You're driving to CVS to go pick up some toilet paper and trail mix, two really important things that you need in your life. And before you go and you take one last sip of your water bottle. Now, can anyone tell me the mistake in this scenario? Yeah, try, try. No, no. Yeah? All right, all right, <laughs> so halfway there. So the mistake is that this water bottle contains BPA. And what BPA is, is bicephenol, it stands for bicephenol A. And according to mayoclinic.org, BPAs are an industrial chemical since the, used to make plastics and resins since the 1960s. And so what happens when you leave your car is that within the first 15 minutes on a hot day, the temperature doubles within the first, in the first 15 minutes. And when the water bottle gets to 60 degrees, which it probably is already at anyways, when it gets to 60 degrees, the toxins in the plastic release into whatever it is. In this case, it's the water. And then you come back to your car and you drink the water and you drink the toxins. So, how many of you are aware that you consume chemicals every day? Yeah? All right. Well, especially if you eat the food at the school or... <laughs> and unless you eat completely organic, then there it is. But why, why, why is BPA so bad? Um, there, are, there are phthalates in BPA, which, are, which is something that disrupts your endocrines and what endocrines do is they release hormones into your blood. So when the, when the endocrines are disrupted, the amount of hormones that release into your blood can be disrupted, like I said, sorry. <laughs> and so the hormones are disrupted and then therefore your body is unhealthy because with the lack or increase of hormones, something's wrong in your body, something's not going right. And a lot of the time, when hormones are disrupted, this can sadly cause cancer. Not only cancer, but this can cause, this can be, these toxins can be seen as a carcinogen, a, an immune toxi toxin, or it can also alter, alter your development. Now, why are BPA still used? You're probably asking this, They're, they sound terrible. Why are they still being used? Well, in some areas like New York and Canada, BPAs are banned in certain things such as children's bottles or cups, and so they cannot be used therefore, the, so that the kids can have a healthier lifestyle, hopefully. But according to Time, the, the FDA says that the BPAs are only, are only potentially toxic. So, they say this because the FDA has not run enough human tests to prove that it is completely toxic. And so how can you get rid of BPAs in your life? How can you get rid of them? It's easy. You can, you can easily just reduce the amount of canned foods you eat. You can avoid heat when you're using BPA products, such as like putting in an old plastic container into the microwave. You, you don't want to do that because then it releases toxins into your food. You can look for something that says BPA free on your water bottles or your, your containers. Or you can use alternatives such as glass or something like BPA free products. Now let's go back to that hot summer day. Instead you come back to your car and it's a BPA free bottle. Now you're no longer drinking this toxic water. Now there's no danger in what you're drinking or what you're consuming. Thank you.